since we started to change roles yesterday and you are in front of the camera yesterday, what do you think about taking the stage next time? No way. No way? No way. I think you could. We should give it a try. Oh, no. It's all about the attitude. How much time do we have left before the keynote? I told MP and the taxi driver of a story from Washington when I did the Leadership Academy in Washington. That was when I met Connor Neal. And he gave us the task to prepare a three minute speech. We are not aware in everyday life of the mechanics of communication. With communication, you can do everything in one or the other direction. And I believe we have to first understand the mechanics of communication, how it works with us. Because it's so hard these days when you have this thing all the time and all the messaging bombarding you to find the baseline, like what is the baseline, where to like get direction from. The second thing I believe is when you, and that is really close to my heart, when, you, when you're not able of communicating and you just say, I'm not part of that, you're still an active participant in that whole game because you're consuming. You are consuming. No matter if you're producing or not, you are consuming. That makes you an active participant, not a victim. That's a big difference. And the third thing I see, people tend to go in certain directions and leave their profile. They had a certain profile and they leave their profile and step down to a more popular opinion because they think it's now popular to share or to say that and they don't want to share the unpopular thing. You like stick to the core, to the brand core that you want to deliver. If you are the brand or the message is the brand, doesn't matter, but you stick to the core and I don't see that. It's not true. I was, uh, the, the one thing we recorded in, uh, at, at the mine down there when I taught, like, told about communication, I just realized it again. Communication is a, like a weapon. It's, you have to be so responsible in what you do because like, when you say something on stage, when you put in a very strong story, people believe that and follow that or are inspired or moved by that. And that's what I stressed down there and I just saw it again. Communication is always part of that. Technology drives it, but the core is the message you deliver and the storyline you deliver. And um, I hope I take this responsibility serious. And I was thinking today after this talk about another storyline that is maybe a bit more, not technology driven, but a bit more like new work driven and about the stuff that really moves. I think one of the strongest parts in the talk is the video from Bezos with a, um, it's not a fear that you can lose it all, it's a fact. It's so true and it's so hard to realize that. I think we should make a talk and build around that. What do you think? You could have a whole documentary around that and you could film that documentary with a red. Imagine, imagine. Sorry, Blackboat team, I'll be off for the next year. I'm filming a documentary. 